Hi guys, it's a brand new day. Welcome back to Mzee Chicks YouTube channel. Right here, our aim is to inspire, to show that farming is very simple, to show that farming is possible, and to show that farming is very profitable. And is the way to go. As I promise always that I will try my level best to bring you everything here at this channel and to show you that farming is the way to go. Farming is very simple and to encourage everyone to join farming. I'm very excited to inform you that as I promised that we shall be answering farming questions right here at this channel once in a month. I will be always joined by a vet answering some of these questions, how to handle our farm animals, how to give them first aid, and he'll be always telling us some of the signs of diseases in our farm animals. I can't wait to say that we are kicking it this month. And here is our vet today. He's one of my team. We work together. We move things together. We give care to animals together. He's called Vet Sanon. Hello everyone. This is Vet Sanon from MS Veterinary Services, where we offer dedicated expert care for all your animals needs. Here we go. We are answering the most asked question: how to handle wounds in our farm animals at our farms. You're most welcome to this platform. And today we are going to learn about how to handle wounds on animals. You know, wounds come as accidents or any other form. Some other parasites can cause wounds. So today we are going to handle wounds. You know, wounds require a first aid kit like this one which should contain a surgical bread scissor cotton wool plaster and a disinfectant which would help to kill the microorganisms such as bacteria and prevent their entry into the body no matter the status of the wound, every wound has to be thoroughly cleaned and disinfected before carrying out any other operation like treatment. An example I can give, I found an animal with its hind limb cut off from the fetlock joint. The wound was dirty and I discovered some pus had developed in there. What I did, I thoroughly cleaned the wound, I disinfected it, and applied a power on. After that, I sealed the area with cotton wool and plastered it. And the reason for this was to prevent entry of small blocking stones, dung, and other foreign materials from entering into the wound, as this could also further promote disease infection. But I advise it is not that every wound has to be plastered, it is only done where necessary because leaving the wound open helps the wound to get exposed to air and this air also has a crucial effect on the healing of the wound so you should not always stress yourself of going in for plastering it is only where necessary then 
after that I administered the animal with three consecutive doses which were injections and eventually when I went back to have a look on the animal I found out that it had healed up whereby the exposed bone that had brought worry into the farmer's mind was covered up with fresh so I found the animal having healed up and here I really advise you farmers to always ask a vet to be able to affirm yourself of your animal's health status. Hope you got me well. That's how we can handle wounds. Make sure you always visit a vet. Hope you enjoyed. That's all for this month. Mosaic Chicks. See you next month.